So I ordered some blackberry. This is called Baby Cakes, Thornless. And it fruits on first year canes, so primal canes. So the canes that grow this year will bear fruit. Um, from what I remember from the research on these, the canes will not overwinter. So you won't get fruit the second year in the summer. You'll just get the fall fruit. I'm here in zone 4B, Minnesota. And um, I do indeed get the fall fruit. And the canes sounds like they only survive down to 10 degrees Fahrenheit. So the ones I've planted a couple years ago, definitely the canes. Well, the first year I just cut them down in the fall. But uh, I let canes overwinter this year and they definitely did not survive the winter. But so they they came in a thing like this. I got them from Home Depot. Definitely one thing you want to do when you plant them is you really got to detangle these roots because they just wrap around and they will never fix themselves. So you can see this is pretty, I mean, it's just a mat down in here. And it takes a little bit. I mean, if you don't, these roots are not going anywhere. This is a solid mass right here. So it does take a little bit of work. I usually start working down in the bottom here. And I mean, you couldn't even shake this dirt out if you wanted to. So I'm just getting my thumb in there and just working them out, working it out here. And it does take a while because I, I try to get it all the way up to the top here. That way I can spread it out in the hole nice. And sometimes when I dig the hole, I will mound up a little dirt in the middle. That way I can spread the roots out. And then the main part of the plant can sit on top of the mound. That way when you fill it in with dirt, it doesn't push all the roots to the middle of the hole. So I am pulling out a little bit as I work out. And sometimes, you know, like this root here at the bottom, I'll try and follow it back so I see it coming up here. And, uh... I try to determine which way the roots go when they come out, so I know which way is actually going back up to the plant. But best I can figure is going off of that they get smaller as they're going away. Although sometimes I have not seen that to be the case. And yeah, if you don't do this, you know the plants will not fix themselves, and the roots won't. Recover. So even though this is, I mean, kind of an aggressive, it's aggressive in the sense that you're ripping a lot, this, the plant needs it. Otherwise it's just, it's not going to be a producer. So I'm kind of tearing a little bit because these are the small little hair light roots. I can you know, see this one comes in from somewhere else, so I'll just try and tease it out a little bit. Again, this is such a solid mass, it's practically impossible. So I see a decent sized root over here. I'm going to try and follow that one around a little bit so I can work that one out. This one here. So then I'll just start working up into the middle here. It's hard to be delicate when it's such a mat here of roots. So I have this big one here, and 
There's another big one here that goes up towards the top. And it looks like, let's see. Okay, so this one's just bends there. So, so that goes back up there. I got this solid mass over here that I gotta work out on this side. Sometimes you can just see a solid mass of roots in the middle. So that's partly, you know, you can kind of look in the middle to see what you got going on. That's partly why I work it up the middle, because otherwise it's just hard to tell heads from tails here. So here's a nice solid one here. Or big root anyways. Not solid, but. I mean, when I bought these, it was a three pack for 30 bucks. It's nice to have something that's thornless and primal cane bears in zone four, so B, zone four B. I don't recall what zone they go down to. Now some websites will, you gotta really check out zone information though because it doesn't, you know, websites will say like zone three or whatever and it's just not, it doesn't always look like legitimate information so I always try to look elsewhere. Now in Minnesota, Department of Agriculture, I believe it was, they actually have a zone hardy list. And they do list this variety as being hardy, at least the zone 4B. I don't recall the listed other stuff, but other zones. But that list doesn't necessarily seem the most up to date. So definitely looking around. Sometimes, like, you can find reviews on websites such as house.com h-o-u-z-z -Z, or growingfruit.org is another one although information can be hit or miss like these ones i don't recall if i did find information on them but uh that was super helpful there but i went ahead with them sounded promising and i yeah i did have my first crop last year on a plant I had planted the previous year so all right so that's pretty good so I got it down I mean this thing is flat now and I got the roots worked out and one other thing is blackberry roots do not like the sun when you're planting them so I'm trying to keep them in the shade here. So yeah, I'll go ahead and stick this in a hole here. So hope this helps a few of you out. But yeah, definitely you need to get those roots untangled. Otherwise, you won't have uh, good success with the plant.